It's no secret, Mr. Speaker, Washington has a spending addiction. Congress has demonstrated that regardless of which party is in charge, the out-of-control spending just does not stop. Each Congress, spending and budget reforms are enacted only to be revised or ignored by the next. Unfortunate as it is, this body has re reliably circumvented any real budget process, even its own rules, in order to fulfill its spending addiction. Routine abuses and budget gimmicks, such as emergency designations, are designed to skirt budget enforcement roles and disguise the real level of spending. Similar to rampant drug abuse in the 1980s that led to addiction and violence at epidemic levels, our spending habits have led to a debt crisis that borders on an overdose. Our country needs urgent help, Mr. Speaker, and it's time for intervention. That's why we're here today to consider HA, HA Res 2, a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution. Most importantly, the balanced budget amendment will discourage Congress from circumventing its fiscal responsibilities because a constitutional amendment cannot be revised or ignored. This measure is the only way to force the hand of Congress towards fiscal responsibility by ensuring the policymakers just say no to reckless spending. Many economists and experts agree adoption of such an amendment will begin to address this nation's looming debt crisis and lay a stronger path to long-term economic growth. The American people overwhelmingly back the budget amount balanced budget amendment. That's exactly why HA Res 2 already has the strong support of a majority of my fellow representatives, including 242 bipartisan co-sponsors. Our constituents understand what it means to live with it and they expect nothing less from the federal government. No more denial, Mr. Speaker. It's time for this body to come clean. It's time for each member to decide whether or not this country will continue down a reckless path of debt and despair or quit living beyond our means cold turkey. It's time to rid this chamber of its reckless spending addiction. It's time for Congress to just say no by voting yes on HJ Res 2. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back. Gentleman's time.